Hi again, everybody, and welcome back to Enjoy English School. I'm Bruce. I'm Anthony. Today is our close article for you. That's where we have five blanks and four choices for each blank, depending on the grammar, depending on the meaning of the word or words that we put into the blanks. Today we are going to be looking at. A topic which really affects everybody in the world, because there are celebrities in every culture, and maybe the youth's celebrities are different from the old guys' celebrities. But we all have people that we admire, and、uh, most people in a culture, if if not everyone, really really respects and even loves this person, although they'll never have a chance to meet them. We call this. Article: Why people mourn the death of celebrities. When our celebrities die, many many people feel upset, as though someone in their family died. We'll find out more about this interesting topic in a moment. 嗯，没错，今天我们讲主题是哀悼名人心理。好，但到底到底这些人呢？你可能非常非常喜欢，整天在电视上看到，当他们如果说不幸离世的时候，你会觉得好像好像丧失亲人一样那样子的伤痛。那那背后的心理逻辑到底怎么回事呢？我们今天带各位来赶快看一看哦。Okay, first sentence、uh, does not have any blanks, so we'll just start our introduction here. It is common to see an outpouring of grief all over the world following the passing of a major celebrity. Of course, major means important. In this case, very famous. Outpouring to pour out,、uh, to pour coffee into a cup.、Uh, But this outpouring is used when we talk about emotion. Suddenly, feelings you didn't even know you had for somebody are coming out of they're coming out of you, and strongly. So we say that's an outpouring of grief. Grief is very serious, very very sad situation、mm. feeling. 嗯，没错，在这边的话，我们来看到第一段的第一句话，他说 ，It is common to see. 好，是很常会看到什么呢？ An outpouring of grief all over the world following the passing of a major celebrity. So, first, look at an outpouring of grief. Outpouring is that kind of emotion that comes out. What kind of emotion? He tells you of grief. Grief 这个字的话，特别注意一下。很多时候，如果你用到 grief 的话，多半或者、就是、很悲伤，很悲伤，而且是。可能是亲人的离世，或是朋友不小心离开了这个世界，多半是跟某人的死亡有点关系的。好，在使用的时候 ，an outpouring of grief， 你会想到哦，可能是不是有人离开了这个世界呢？的确，你看后面讲到 all over the world following the passing of a major celebrity， 在这里的话，他讲的 the pass passing， 而不用 the death of a major celebrity， 是因为我们要避免。避讳使用“死”这个字的时候，我们可以用到很多字词汇，可能像提到的 “passing” 就是一个当名词使用的。很多时候你还会听到有机会讲说 “pass on” or “pass away” 当做动词片语的用法，也是来讲到讲到一个人的离世这样的意思。Okay, next sentence is the last one of the first paragraph. However, but on the other hand, one might wonder blank. People are so deeply saddened by the loss of someone they have never met. That is the strange, not the grief that is、uh, unusual, or you, we can understand that. But you never met the person, and you you probably never had the chance. They may even be a foreigner, and you have no way ever to、uh, see them in person, talk with them, share a meal with them. It's impossible. So. One might wonder blank. We have four choices here: what, why, while, whether. The one, the only one that、uh, fits and wonder is your key here. I wonder why something,、mm. and so you should choose B. Yeah, so in this case, you have to choose the answer B. Okay, for example, one may wonder why. I wonder why. That is, I want to know. You may be curious to know about the next thing. So in this case, we choose the answer B. Why? The sentence means, however, but you may want to know. Why? 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 Why?
by the loss of someone they have never met. 你又不认识这个人，你也没跟他吃过饭，也没有见过面。嗯、老师刚刚提到这个 ，they've never met the the celebrity in person，、嗯、就是没有亲眼在面对面的看到这个人，跟他握过手什么，可能都没有这样子的这种机会。可是你却对他的离世感到这么的伤痛，这是什么原因？你也许会好奇。所以他提到这个原因，我们这题答案就选 B。Why? Okay, that's a good start. Let's take a break before we continue. Okay. Now the next paragraph is quite long and has three close blanks. Let's look at the first sentence, which is number two of the five blanks. Generally, grief emerges when someone you're familiar with passes away. Blank, a family member or a partner. Usually, generally, mostly, grief we already talked about. Emerge is to come out, to flow out, or come out when someone you're familiar with passes away. If you're familiar with someone, you don't necessarily know them. You may never have met them, but you certainly know about them. Blank, a family member or a partner. Now, what would our choices be here? A. By contrast. B. As a result. C. For example, or D, on the whole. Hmm. Well, we've got two nouns here: a family member or a partner. Okay. So we talked about someone you're familiar with. Well, what makes sense here, of course, for example, or like, L-I-K-E, as a preposition, not the verb.、Uh, for example, a family member or a partner. So choose C. 嗯，所以在这边的话，我们先看到这一题的话呢，他选的答案是 C。For example， 在这边他是要举例说明前面这句话。所以从第一句开始，他讲说 ，Generally， grief emerges。好，老师刚刚提到 emerge 就是 comes out， 好，就是就是开始浮现，对不对 ？When someone you are familiar with， 在这个地方呢，你帮我把这个 you are familiar。Familiar with 这个地方，把我框起来。好，左夸弧呢是来在那个 you are your 这个地方的左边，然后呢 with 的话在右边。Someone you're familiar with 这个 you're familiar with 是形容词短句，形容这个 someone 你所熟知的某人 passes away。这样的话，整句话的这个结构就很清楚了。在这里的话是 for example， 类似像是也许是你的这个家族成员，或者是你的伴侣突然离世了这样子的。这样子的情况，所以这题答案我们选的是 C。For example, however, when it comes to celebrities, people still feel connected with them through their work, even though they're not a family member or your partner,、um, a close neighbor, a close relative, and so on. Even though you'll never meet these people, you never saw them in person. These celebrities. People still feel connected with them; they feel a part of them, or they want this person to be a part of their own lives、uh, through their work.、Uh, and here, work refers to the celebrities.、Um, the work will be the line of business that they're in, or what kind of art they do, or maybe a politician. It, it wouldn't matter. Work is what you do. It doesn't always mean labor. Yeah, so at 这边的话呢，他就说了 ，However， 然而呢 ，when it comes to celebrities， 如果在谈到像是名人啦，好，就你见过那些大明星啦等等 ，people still feel connected with them， 人们呢还是会觉得跟他们有所联系，至少在情感上有所联系呢 ，through their work。所以在这里 ，work 的话就是他们所从事的行业，不管他是歌手还是这个政治人物或等等，各式各样各行各业。对于他们所做的事情，人们还是对于这这些人物呢是有这样子的联系感存在的。This bond, this connection, emotional connection between the public and celebrities is called, of course, it has to be called something by psychologists, a parasocial relationship. Social, you probably know,、uh, part of society, person to person. Para is Next to or aside, so it's not a direct, what we call an intimate relationship, 
but it is a strong bond. You feel a strong connection, even though you 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 never met the person. 嗯，没错。所以在这个地方的话，你会看到他说 the bond, this bond, bond 就是 emotional connection， 就是这种情感上的连接呢。Between the public and celebrities， 在大众跟这些名人的之间的情感上的连接。我们称之为 is called a parasocial relationship， 称为这种拟社会关系，就是很接近 para。你可能有听过 parallel， 好 ，parallel 就是平行的，就是在 next to 的意思。老师刚刚有提到，所以 parasocial relationship 就是很接近我们真的真实的这种社会的关系，但是并不是真实你认得这个人。Right. Next sentence. It this parasocial relationship. It involves strong emotions and interests from one party toward the other. So,、uh, David Bowie was one of my favorite、uh, performers after the 1980s, and the things he said, the songs that he wrote and sang, seemed to touch me, and I felt very, very close to him. Although there was no way I was ever going to meet him. 嗯，老师最喜欢八零年代的一个歌手呢，叫 David Bowie， 好的，大卫鲍伊，他也是很多人的偶像。那虽然说老师非常非常喜欢他，可是事实上老师并不真的认识这个人嘛，对不对？所以在这里的话，他其实也是一种拟社会关系。所以这句话里面他提到说 ，It involves strong emotions and interests from one party toward the other。好。Which are generally not returned from celebrity. So, in here, the teacher is very, very fond of David Bowie's music, his songs, and feels a very strong connection. But he doesn't have any direct connection. But David Bowie doesn't know the teacher. The teacher is saying this. The word "party" here is not to have a good time party. It's a sort of an official word referring to another person and sometimes another case. 嗯，没错，这个 party 的话不是指这个派对，而是指某一方，那双方的 both party or 第三方的 third party。好，所以这里的话，这个 party 是指一个这个对象或是一个代表这样的意思。Okay, so we're not talking about David Bowie, but we are talking about the songs of celebrities. Blank. Some people depend for support. Can have deep significance in a fan's life. We all have. Favorite songs because they're so meaningful to us. They they touch us in a certain way, and so the songs blank some people. In terms of grammar, what are we going to use? A to what? B in that? C on which? Or D by whom? Okay, so it's not、uh, by whom, which you might think because we're talking about people. Uh, the idea seems good, but not the grammar. The songs on which fans,、uh, some people, the fans of the celebrities, depend for support.、Uh, sometimes you just feel so down.、Eh, I'm going to play some music by my favorite celebrity if it's music, or read a book by my favorite author so that I will feel better. It's the songs on which. People depend, so you should choose C. 嗯，在这边的话呢，他考了一个形容词短句的概念。这边的话，答案我们选的是 C on which。在做这种题目时候，特别注意的事情是，你看哦 ，some people depend 有动词嘛，对不对 ？For support， 然后后面又是 can have 有两个动词，但是中间没有连接词的时候，你就知道哦，这边应该藏了一点什么东西，藏了形容词短句。再来，我们来看一下第二件事情，你可以去看到说 ，some people depend。然后跟前面的 song of celebrity 一定有个连接，对不对？那我们在这边的话，我们重新去观察一下 depend 的话，我们通常是 depend 接什么介系词 on， 对不对？所以 ，so some people depend on the songs of celebrities for support。听起来有没有很顺？对，所以在这里的话，我们就会变成 on which 来表达。好，因为这个 on 的话是搭配的这个 depend 来显出来的。所以在这里如果碰到其他的介系词加了 which 的话，千万不要被骗哦。在这里的话，你要看 depend 来决定介系词要用 on。好，在这里的话，第三题我们就选了 on which C 这个选项。Continuing in some cases, fans may project their feelings onto fictional characters played by celebrities in entertainment.、Uh, Here now we can also talk about movie celebrities, and they play a role, they play a part. 
that we can also relate to or feel close to. Now, to project literally means to throw forward, to push out, to extend、uh, their feelings onto, to project onto. A projects onto B.、Uh, they sort of assign a, a certain feeling、uh, to that celebrity, so that this connection seems real. Hmm. So in this case, you see that in some cases, in some circumstances, fans may project. This word should be careful. This word, if it is used as a verb, it should be written project. But if it is used as a noun, it should be written project. You have to watch its upper and lower words. You have to be careful about its pronunciation. Project their feelings, so 投射的情感在什么身上 ？Onto fictional characters， 在这些呃这些名人所饰演的这种角色上面。Fictional characters 代表他在真实现实现实世界里头没有这个人，像哈利波特现实生活中没有啊，他就是 fictional characters。他们会投射情感在这些虚拟的。这种故事情节里面的角色身上，这些角色是由这些名人所饰演的，在影视娱乐的这种这种行业里面，他演这些角色。Okay,、uh, let's finish up the paragraph. Naturally, the blank of the real person may create an empty feeling among those who felt emotionally attached or connected to the character the celebrity portrayed. Now, if you're portraying, if a celebrity is portraying a character, almost certainly we're talking about movies now, and that's the connection. The actor or actress is projecting、uh, how he or she feels about the character in the book or in the movie, and even in a song,、uh, and that affects the fan. The the person who loves the、uh, celebrity,、uh, to portray simply means to play a role or play a part. 嗯，没错，这个 portray 这个字的话，其实是他们所扮演的，他们所演绎的角色，或是刻画出来这个角色等等，用他们自己的方式演出来。所以在这边的话，整句话说 ，naturally the 什么 of the real person， 什么 the real person may create an empty feel empty feeling among those who felt emotionally attached. To the characters the celebrity portrayed. So, in this case, you have to be careful. The words that are used are these people who are portraying the characters themselves have a connection with the audience. So, in the beginning, I said that naturally, the person who is portraying the character themselves has a connection with the audience. So, in the beginning, I said that naturally, the person who is portraying the character themselves has A、isolation and response. 在这里的话，如果今天 the real person 真实演这个角色的这个真这个演员他本身不在了，这时候我们答案是选 A absence， 就他的缺席，他的不在呢，会让他觉得突然心里挖了一个大洞一样，糟了，情感没有连接的地方了。Right, and your Q here, C U E, is empty feeling. If there's nothing there, there's an absence of feeling. 嗯，没错。所以在这里，一旦他不在了，到后来你发现到，哦，你的心里好像多了一个缺口。你发现到，哇，没有了，我喜欢的对象不见了，消失，他离开了啊，好难过。Okay, this is a good place to take a break before we finish. Okay, last paragraph, first sentence. Morning collectively connects people to a larger community. Morning is this outpouring of grief, and if you do it alone, it's a very different feeling or idea. When you realize there are thousands or even millions of people who feel the same way you do, that makes a connection. Yeah, 没错。所以在这里的话，集体的哀悼，哀悼某一个名人的离世，怎么样呢？能够凝聚大家 ，connects people to a larger community. 意思是变变成一个集体的这种。一个活动，一个行动，大家集体的去为这个离世而感到悲痛。It brings people closer. The passing of a celebrity, the absence of the celebrity, brings people closer and reminds them what they have in common. Oh, you're grieving. Well, I'm grieving too. This is something we have in common. We share it. 没错，所以大家 have something in common 就是共同拥有的。
，好这样子的一个经验等等。It brings people closer， 好慢慢凝聚了人们，然后能能够提醒他们 ，reminds them what they have in common， 他们共同都非常喜欢这个这个人物，或是这个离世的这个名人，好，他这种过程会让他们更加的凝聚。While it's normal to feel sad about celebrity deaths, it's vital to blank negative feelings. Of course, you're not the only person who feels sad when a famous celebrity passes, but it's very important for us to remember you don't want to live the rest of your life with these negative feelings. So, number five: Do we put out, call off, give away, or get over? These negative feelings. The answer, of course, is D. To get over is to come back to a normal, to come back to a positive way of thinking or feeling. Yeah. So in this case, we will use these negative feelings. We will use get over to overcome such a pain, to overcome such a negative feeling. Many times, oh, recently, recently, I broke up with my boyfriend. Ah, get over it. Try to overcome the pain. Often, we often say get over it. 用这种方式来表达说，想办法忘了他吧，好，事情会过去的，等等。用这种方式来鼓励人家。After all, we should appreciate the positive memories or experiences a celebrity has given us. When someone passes, there is an absence, there's an empty feeling, but we should think about the good times we shared or the positive work that somebody did and how we felt about that. That's Uh, why we should get over negative feelings. The experience is actually positive, or you wouldn't feel that way. 嗯，没有错。所以最后一句话就说了 ，After all， 毕竟呢 ，we should appreciate the positive memories or experiences a celebrity has given us. 老师刚刚提到一个字 ，works。好，只有在提到作品的时候，这个 work 才会加上 s， 所以他可以透过一些他留下来的这些影视作品啊等等，可以把一些很美好的回忆，毕竟他带给我们这么多的美好，所以其实我们要只要记住他美好的部分就好，伤痛可以慢慢忘记。Okay, that's it for today's program. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something with us. Until the next time, bye bye. bye, bye. <音楽>第三十六页，克洛兹，哀悼名人心理分析。Why people mourn the death of celebrities? It is common to see an outpouring of grief all over the world following the passing of a major celebrity. However, one might wonder why people are so deeply saddened by the loss of someone they have never met. Generally, grief emerges when someone you're familiar with passes away. For example, a family member or a partner. However, when it comes to celebrities, people still feel connected with them through their work. This bond between the public and celebrities is called a parasocial relationship. It involves strong emotions and interests from one party toward the other. Which are generally not returned from the celebrity. The songs of celebrities, on which some people depend for support, can have deep significance in a fan's life. In some cases, fans may project their feelings onto fictional characters played by celebrities in entertainment. Naturally, the absence of the real person may create an empty feeling among those who felt emotionally attached. To the character the celebrity portrayed, mourning collectively connects people to a larger community. It brings people closer and reminds them what they have in common. While it's normal to feel sad about celebrity deaths, it's vital to get over negative feelings. After all, we should appreciate the positive memories or experiences a celebrity has given us.